on this world, Commander.
I wonder what monstrosity Cerberus has been cooking up at the next base. Perimeter clear.
Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're gonna want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. If you know something about Cerberus, you'd better tell me. I suspect I know less about Cerberus than you do. I am merely an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kohoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. These are classified Alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. With no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! That was... satisfying. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here.
place. My armor's here somewhere. believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap but at least I've got it back then I guess we're done here anything you need commander just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorium. All in triplicate, I'm sure. Did you want to see me? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. It's up to the Alliance to take its proper place. Even if we have to kick its ass to convince it to kick theirs. We're out here trying to save everyone. We can worry about who's king after the dust settles. I don't know about that. Remember Vernus? There are a lot like him. Yeah, there are. But there are a lot who aren't like you. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Blowhards are easy to brush off. How'd he finally get under your skin? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. That's when the knife came up. A military issue talent, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick, right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. He deserved it. It killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. I want to know you're on our side. Whatever needs to be done. Commander, I thought real hard about how to use my talents. When I swore the oath to defend the Alliance, it wasn't on a whim. If it comes down to it, I am a soldier. I have to believe that my superiors can tell our enemies from people who disagree with us. 
If the Alliance is missing its chance, it's because of men like Udina, not the rest of the galaxy holding us back. Of course, your opinion is the one that matters, Commander. You're free to believe whatever you want, Lieutenant. Just follow orders. Yes, sir. I should return to my duties now. Commander? We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh, no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. Wait, are you saying this is your first time? I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers. I do not know if we are ready for this. I'm ready, if you are. Eager is not the same as ready, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Shepard. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you decided to go your own way? I decided killing for credits was better than killing for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. Exactly. That's why I hired you. And that's why I joined. So I wouldn't have to deal with them. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits. And most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting private armies and such, but it gets too messy. 
I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm General William's granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. You're blacklisted because of your grandfather's cowardice. Cowardice. That's what the Terra Firma party calls it. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of it. Is this why you're always going on about the Council? If everyone else can look at Shanxi and say, this is why humanity needs to be stronger, then so can I. I'm entitled. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Alenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him, permanently. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, sir. Feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. If we don't stop him soon, it'll be too late. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. 
A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I didn't bring you along as a favor, Tally. You're here because you contribute to the mission, and I need all the help I can get on this one. Don't worry. You can always count on me. I should go. 